Welcome back to Battaglia by Harris. And today, we're gonna to be looking at some pictures in black and white and in color. And I'm gonna give my opinion how they affect me in black and white or in color, or how they don't affect me. And I'm gonna ask you for your opinion, how do these same pictures affect you in black and white or in color? Otherwise, when I'm asking, do you feel something different when you look at a picture in black and white or if you look at the same picture in color? And with that being said, I will see you on that side. In the color photo, you can see the love Tiffany Collins has for her son Emerson. But love has no color, so even in black and white, the love is just as powerful. When you see the empty bench in color, is it asking you to sit down? What about in black and white? Is it cold and uninviting? In color, is this just a picture of a train on the wall? But in black and white, can you hear the sound of the whistle? Can you smell the smoke? And do you hear the sound of the engine? How do your color memories of the old courthouse compare to the memories you have in black and white? This is the famous author, Amanda Aller. You can see the concentration on her face in color, but in black and white, you can feel it as her talented fingers types out a beautiful story. A red rose has a beautiful smell, but is the smell just as sweet in black and white? Have you ever asked yourself, would a funny sign be just as funny in black and white? It can be in color or black and white. Just Marriage still has a wonderful sound. You know the song by Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers, You Can't Make Old Friends. Well, longtime friends Francis Gerald and Macy Collins will tell you in color or black and white, their friendship is a song to sing about. The road is closed. Would this sign be more powerful if it was in black and white? You quickly notice the blackberries surrounded by the red ones in color. But how much do you notice it in black and white? And would it still taste as sweet? I will end this story of black and white in color with one more picture of the talented author, Amanda. Why, you ask? Because it is always a good thing to end a story on a beautiful image. Well, do you feel something different when you're looking at the same photo, if it's in black and white, or if it's in color? Leave a comment below. And of course, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you can get out my videos. And the reason I ask you to leave a comment, because it's positive, that motivates me to go out and do more videos. And of course, if it's not positive, guess what? That will also motivate me to go out and do more videos so you'll like them the next time. Because you know I say it all the time, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on my photographic journeys. And I will see you next time.